This is the macaw ozette potato, not to be confused with the macaw bird. Anyway, this is a very special potato. It was developed by the macaw, who are the people who are indigenous to the area that is now known as Washington State, where I live. And this potato was brought over from South America, because that is where potatoes are indigenous. Um, you know, its, it's uh, ancestor was brought, brought over from South America, and the macaw developed this potato and it has survived over the centuries in their gardens. And now non maca people are taking notice of it finally. And I got these at the farmer's market a couple months ago from farmers who, as far as I know, are not themselves maca. If you are maca and you happen to be watching this video, uh, let me know how you like to prepare these because I couldn't find any recipes online for this potato specifically. Anyway, I myself am not maca, but I just wanted to raise awareness to this potato because it is really special and amazing. Um, the preparation I'm going to be doing is incredibly simple. I'm just going to oven roast them and this preparation works for other small potatoes like fingerling potatoes or new potatoes. First I'm going to give these guys a good scrubbing. Okay so I've just arranged them in this little casserole dish so that they're all in a solid layer and a very simple preparation. Like I said this works with any smaller potato. Just drizzle it with a squeeze of olive oil and some salt and pepper. And that's really it. Then you pop them into a 425 degree oven until they are done. I don't know the time off the top of my head because I usually go off vibes uh, when I cook, but I will tell you in this video how long I wind up cooking these. So what makes the maca ozette potato so special is its flavor. It has a bit of a nutty flavor. You might be saying to yourself, but Sarah, potatoes don't have a flavor. They just taste like dirt. I mean, that's what I think. I don't really like potatoes that much, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, but I like this potato because it does have a little bit of a nutty flavor to it. And it's buttery and the texture is just so incredibly creamy. I have had these potatoes mashed. I have had them um, sauteed in animal fat on the stove and they are delicious both of those ways as well. But this is my favorite preparation. So it couldn't be easier. You just toss them in olive oil or any fat that you like, any spices you like. I just went with salt and pepper because I'm a purist and then bake them in the oven until they're done. <laughs> That's like, you know, two minutes of active cook time including the washing of them. Um, so since this video would be extremely short, otherwise I'll also do a similar preparation for broccoli, uh, because why not? Now, this is our favorite way to eat broccoli. You just separate off the crowns. And if they're particularly thick, I like to slice them in half, but this, this is pretty thin and tender, so I'm just gonna leave it whole. This one's a little thick. So what I like to do is I split just the um, stem like this and then I rip it the rest of the way apart because otherwise you get like, if you cut all the way through, you wind up splitting a lot of the little flowers on the broccoli and it makes a big mess. This way I only have a little bit of mess left over. Anyway, if you do not like broccoli or if you don't like vegetables or if your kids don't like vegetables, they probably just haven't had them prepared well and this ro roasted broccoli is one of the tastiest and easiest ways of eating broccoli. Yeah, this, along with the potatoes, it's like one to two minutes of active cook time. And then you have something wholesome and delicious. You can cook the stumps. I like to cut those into smaller pieces. I am sorry my camera is zoomed in so much. If I zoom it out right now, it goes out of focus because my camera is bad. <laughs> anyway, you just squeeze it with olive oil. Don't be afraid of fat. It will not hurt you and it makes your food taste delicious. And again, I'm just gonna be simple and sprinkle with salt and pepper. The broccoli, I do know the cook time on that. It's about 20 to 25 minutes in a 425 oven. And there is the broccoli out of the oven. So to test the potatoes for doneness, I like to just poke them with a fork and it should go in pretty easily. These are done, but I think they could use another couple minutes. This one looks like a person. <laughs> And here I've just served up my macaw ozette potatoes with the roasted broccoli and a sausage and a little cranberry sauce that I had left over from Thanksgiving. So I really wish I could communicate properly on film just how wonderful these potatoes are. Mm. Again, I am not a potato person, but I swear these potatoes have a lovely flavor. I never saw, thought that I would say that about a potato, but these potatoes really have it.
Anyway, do a little research. I provided a link or two in the video description about the Makao Zet potato. I couldn't find very much information about them online, so look into them more and see if you can grow them yourself and see if you can find them at farmers markets if you are in the Pacific Northwest. Bye!